On Veterans Day, we honor all who answered to a service call. Soldiers young and soldiers old fought for freedom, brave and bold. Some have lived while others died, and all of them deserve our pride. We're proud of all the soldiers who kept thinking of red, white, and blue. They fought for us and all our rights. They fought through many days and many nights. And though we may not know each name, we thank all veterans just the same. Hey everyone, LAPD Code 3 here. Welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. And as you guys saw in the banner just a minute ago, I wanted to thank all the men and women of our service. Thank you all for your service. Uh, happy Veterans Day to some of you out there, or most of you out there, all of you out there currently serving uh, in the armed forces. You know, you guys are awesome, and because of you guys, uh, you know, we we couldn't be America, we couldn't be free without all of you. So thank you all for your noble sacrifices, those that have passed, and uh, those that are currently enjoying their retirement. Uh, hope everybody had a wonderful weekend, and uh, we're already halfway through the week here. It's Wednesday, so we're going to be doing Crown uh, CHP today, guys. As you can see, we got the Explorer. But uh, today we are doing commercial vehicle enforcement, and I want to give a special shout out to Sirius 313 and his team of modders who have worked on the Stop the Pet questions that we have been put, uh, we installed recently. We got a brand new series of questions now for Stop the Pet, and it looks like we got a bolo out for a super, super, or Dark Steel Super D, I guess it's a super diamond. Last seen in the north on the Sonora Freeway individual who recently left a verbal disturbance all right well it's not serious so let's get back to the intro uh but yeah guys i want to thank series 313 once again for this uh ultimate questions ultimate stop the pet questions thank you sirius and your team you guys are awesome we're going to check them out today we're going to test these out we're using commercial vehicle enforcement so you know what that means we're going to be enforcing the law on commercial trucks such as that and cement trucks and such delivery trucks etc Make sure that everybody's uh, tire regulations and all that stuff. Make sure safety regulations for the highway. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let's get on patrol. Dispatch 3L13, show me a bill for calls on 10-8. Alright, let's go guys. Alright guys, so I'm pulling over this truck right now. He uh he freaking cut me off back there as I was making a turn on the on the freeway divider. Uh, he was he cut me off and almost killed my ass. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull him over, see what's going on there with him. Come on, buddy, pull it over. I don't know if I can pull him over. There we go. There we go. Dispatch 3L13, I'm going to be on a traffic stop on South US Route 13, just passing, uh, just next to when, looks to be next to the uh, Ron Alter Wind Farms, it's going to be a commercial truck, it looks to be a belly dump truck. Uh, that's a negative. 10-4. Alright, so we're going to go ahead, guys, and uh, see what's going on with them. Let's see what's up with him. California government plates. Yep. Okay. Let's see what's going on with him. How you doing, sir? I'm Officer Noriega, California Highway Patrol Commercial Vehicle Enforcement. Reason for the stop, sir, is uh, you almost cut me off back there as I was making my turn. You almost ran me off the road, man. I had to stop before you made that turn. You had a driver's license, registration, proof of insurance, as well as your paperwork. Can you please show me your ID? Thank you. You got your bills of lading and permits? Yeah, here's my permit. Actually, empty at the moment, though. Okay. All right, looks like it's valid. All right, where are you coming from, man? Uh, I picked up this up over in Liberty City. All right, where are you headed to now? 
Uh, probably out of service at this point. <laughs> All right. And so I've got some questions here. It says expect fuel for a red off-road diesel. For okay, so I'm gonna dip your fuel tank. Is that all right with you? Yes, sir. All right, so let's go see. Inspect the fuel, red off the road diesel. All right, to inspection. All right, to continue inspection, take your driver to your cruiser. All right, and so let's go ahead and get him out of the vehicle then. All right, man, do me a favor. Step out of the vehicle for me, would you? Come on out, man. I'm also going to run him for uh, impairment, driver impairment. Stay there. Stay there. All right. Come with me, man. We're going to walk out to my uh, car. Come on. Oh, let's get him a little closer. I don't want him to get anywhere near that freeway. There we go. All right. So... Okay, so right now, man, I was looking at it, and it looks like I was dipping your fuel tank, and it says it was red. So, is there any reason why you nearly why you nearly cut me off and refused to stop for me when I made that turn onto the divider? There's no reason for it? Okay. Let's see what we got here. All right. You got anything illegal on you, man? Have you been drinking a day or anything? Let me see if I can get his questions. I still haven't had a chance to look into these guys, so my my apologies about that. If it um. Uh, just looking for. All kind of, I like how this is more organized now. So he said he had a couple glasses of wine with his food. While he was working on the job? I don't know if that's right, but... Okay. Well, right now, man, you could be, you're clearly a hazard to yourself and others right now. Okay, for our openings. Alright, so let me go ahead and check you real quick. Let's see what you got here. Look into this for me. Yeah, all right, he's only moving with his eyes, so that's good. Did he pass it? Okay. And then we'll do a one leg stand next. Pretty sure he wasn't looking. With just only a day away, guys, from the release of the PlayStation 5, I'm going to be definitely getting that for sure. Hope you guys, uh, I might do an unboxing video. I don't know. I might just, uh, post a video on YouTube of me, uh, when I, when it actually comes to my, when it gets to my door. Because I'm really, really trying to play that. Can't wait to try it out and see, uh, all that, all the, if all the hype is real about it. All right. We'll do one last test on him and then uh, we'll just cite him. He said he had drinks, but it was probably last night. So he's probably sober from it. All right. So let's go ahead and run him a ticket. And then I'm going to go ahead and just get him for just cutting me off. Alex Street. He has, he has priors in the past for a schedule for narcotics and warrant for arrest failure to pay court costs. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and create a citation here. And we'll just get him for his moon violation. Distracted operation of a motor vehicle, no. Uh, failure to yield to emergency vehicle. So there it is. We'll get him for that. And that's about all I'm going to give him. I don't know how I'm really going to BS with his truck. 
Now, there's still a lot of CVE that I need to know about, guys, before. So this is going to be a $500 ticket for him. All right, Alex. So here's what's going to happen, buddy, okay? Let's see. Oh, charges, traffic arrest charges. Uh, full investigations below. Do not impress. Okay, so I like how it just says do not press. <laughs> All right, so let's see. All right, man. So I'm going to be giving you your citation for you, okay, man? Uh, let's see if I can find the charges. I'm looking for charges. Like I said, I haven't had a chance to look into these yet, so I'm still looking for them. General documentation. Uh, service. Okay. Wow, there are a lot more questions than I remember. Holy cow, there is so much in here, and I love it. This is going to be a lot. This could take a while to learn, guys. I'm sorry about the wait. I'm sorry about this long traffic stop. All right, let's just give it to him, and then we'll uh, just call it a day for him. Oops, I just forgot that I had my control settings there. So uh, we'll go ahead and give this to him. All right, man, so here's the ticket for you, man, for 500 all right? You're, you're free to go to your vehicle. Just drive safe, man, and uh, next time you see an officer, just stop for him, okay? All right, so Alex is going to be getting a ticket for $500. That's code four, guys. We're going to go ahead and uh, get back on patrol. Alright guys, so I'm going to pull this vehicle over right here because he's got a bunch of crap on the back of the truck and he doesn't even have anything uh, remotely secured. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull it over because in the events that he hits a car or something and that debris starts falling off, he could injure somebody. So some kind of bathroom or kitchen furniture, I don't know what it is, but we managed to stop right outside CHP headquarters. <laughs> Not headquarters, but CHP station right across the street. So, if, any, if, he, if he decides to run, we got backup. Dispatch, show me on a traffic stop outside the station. It's going to be a commercial vehicle truck. It looks like it's hauling uh, general stuff, such as furniture and uh, looks like washing. Looks like washing uh, furniture. Let's see. Uh, that is a negative. All right, let's go see what's going on with him. How you doing, sir? I'm Officer Noriega with the California Highway Patrol Commercial Vehicle Enforcement. Uh, the reason for the stop today, sir, is that you don't have anything holding your uh, you don't have anything holding your truck over here, man. On the back, your furniture could fall out. All that stuff you have, the washers, all your electronics could fall off, man. Do you have a driver's license registration insurance? Alright, let's see if he's got anything on that. So, so what's all this stuff, man? Bullshit. Because I see a bunch of, uh, I see a bunch of scrap, man. A bunch of scrap back there. Where are you coming from? Parking lot on the border, huh? And where are you headed to with it? Probably out of service. Huh. All right. All right. Do you have your bills of lading and permits? Okay. Everything seems to be valid. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick check of the back here real quick. I want to see something. So he has, so if this stuff had just, say this thing had just fell. Let me see. This stuff could have just fell in the middle of the road and caused a serious accident. And he has nothing holding the doorway here. Like the hatch, the hitch on the back has nothing. This whole bed has no door.
All right. So you realize that there's no door back there, right? And you could have imagined if one of those washers or the baby carriers is in there, all that stuff could have easily fell off into the freeway and you could have hurt somebody with that. Seriously, do you understand that? All right. So give me a minute, man. I'm going to run your information and then we'll go from there, okay? All right. Oh, that's just great. That's just great. Ooh. His name is Mike Sin. He's got an unauthorized use of a motor vehicle and resisting arrest without violence. Let's run a check of the vehicle here. Now we're assuming it's a possible stolen vehicle. I'm gonna need a. I'm definitely gonna need a a backup. I might need a backup unit on this, but maybe not. Let me go ahead and get a backup unit just in case. I meant to change that. <laughs> Give me one second. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so we got a CHP officer. Hey, Mike, step out of the truck for me, man, would you? Turn off the engine. Alright, come with me, man. Got another officer on the scene coming up. It looks to be a charger. All right, Mike. So, oops, I so didn't mean that. I so didn't mean that. All right, Mike. So here's what's going on, okay? Uh, from what I'm seeing, your paperwork is not coming back as that as the owner of that vehicle, okay? Were you aware that there's you no? Know, were you aware that that vehicle is not yours? Do you mind if we search the truck real quick? All right, let's go ahead and have a look real quick while I have her, while I have him check him out, and then I'll do a search of the truck here. Got a screwdriver and a pack of needles. I got a large bong on the passenger side. All right, we got a pack of needles on him. Let's go ahead and uh, hook him. All right, Mike, turn around. All right, Mike, turn around, put your hands behind your back. What are these needles, man? What are you doing with these needles? Oh, shoot. There we go. All right. What are you doing with these needles, man? Let me see. These are public crimes, so we're going to go ahead and just ask them regular questions that we know. So what, do you, so what is this stuff, man? And you have any? So you're not gonna tell me anything about these needles. When's the last time you used your lunch break? I'm assuming that's what the bong was doing over there, the bong in your passenger seat. All right. What have you taken recently? Nothing. Okay. Are you coming around here just to buy or? Okay. Do you use or do you sell to? A little both. Okay. Well, you realize that doing that while running a commercial uh, salvaging job, you understand a commercial salvaging job. You know that that's illegal, right? All right, we're gonna uh, we're gonna collect a drug swab sample just to be safe, okay? You're not doing this. Well, you're going to do this, okay? We're gonna see if he's probably under the influence. So, go ahead and swap him. And then uh, we'll go ahead and double check this paperwork on this truck because it didn't. It came back to Compulite as unknown, so we definitely for sure think it's stolen. Two three John Victor Charles eight seven two. Yeah, same thing. All right, so let's go ahead and. Get that information written down here. And he's already been, and he's already a convicted felon, and uh, not a convicted felon, but it looks like he's already a convicted felon in the past. So we'll go ahead and get him for what he has. Driving a motor vehicle without a license, 
that insurance or is it I think it was license no I think it was uh, registration insurance okay and failure to present documentation and then we've got the vehicles let's see I could have sworn I had a uh, CVE charges in here but you know what guys like that's that might be coming soon down the road you never know right somebody might make some uh, CVE but we did have him on the possession of drug paraphernalia so we got him for the bong so we'll put uh, possession of drug paraphernalia schedule one and then the pack of needles well, that's all drug paraphernalia so we'll charge him with all that and he admitted to uh, taking some on his lunch break even though it's currently morning but I guess he doesn't know what time it is so we'll get him for all that and then we'll get him for his vehicle charges which was uh, driving under the influence of narcotics let's see driving under the influence first arrest okay so we'll go ahead and have him taken and then we'll get this vehicle towed out of here you asshole <laughs> okay so let's go ahead and we're gonna have to get a heavy lift out of here for this because I can't I don't know any other vehicles that will do this so let's go ahead and get a heavy lift for this alright we got a large flatbed let's get the large tow truck for this I'm really starting to miss Grammarly uh, Grammar Police right now. I'm really starting to miss Grammar Police. Uh, I've been missing it for weeks now. It seems like no matter what I do, I'm at my wit's end. That no matter what I do, it don't work. So we'll go ahead and use that beautiful, that beautiful truck right there. I'm gonna be changing the uh, the arm of it soon because I see that it's green. So I'll be changing that soon. But uh, Mike Sin's going to be going to jail now, guys. Driving under the influence of the possession of a stolen commercial truck. That's code four. Let's go ahead and get back on patrol. We have an ambulance requested in Tatapia Mountain. All right, we got, an, we got a 9 woman report of a large truck tipped over. We'll go ahead and respond to that. Dispatch 3L13 responding. It's going to be a long drive to get there, too. All right, guys, since this drive is going to be a while, we're going to go ahead and uh, just try to skip a little bit of it. All right, guys, we're coming up on the uh, coming up on the accident now. Oh, my God, they're running into it. We're going to need more additional units out here to stop this uh, traffic, so let's go ahead and get some more out here. We got to see what's going on here. Let me see who's in who's in charge here. Let me see. Is there anybody in there? I don't see anyone here. Oh God, guys, are you all okay? What happened? Are you okay? We're okay, but the truck driver needs help. We're just going home, and he flipped over. She flipped over. All right, she's gonna need medical assistance. Let me see if we can uh, tend to the injured pedestrian. God, we got way too much traffic out here. Hello. All right, we're trying. She's alive. She's okay. All right, but she's going to need an ambulance, so we got to get her out of here. See if I can... 
Let's go ahead and sit her back on the ground and then we'll call her an ambulance. All right. What's your name, sir? Let me see. Hold on, let's see if we can ask her the questions first and then we got a lot to work with here. So let's go ahead and ask her real quick what she done. Where was she headed coming from? Where were you coming from, ma'am? Where are you headed to? You were on your way to work driving that truck? You've been drinking, doing any drugs recently? Okay. All right. Well, I got an EMS coming in. I got EMS on, on the way, okay? Are you... see if we've got the accident here accidents let me see MV investigation okay are you feeling any pain or are you injured all right do you need medical to check you out all right uh, any all right but we got an ambulance okay they're gonna be coming just to check you okay all right I'll speak to you as soon as medical checks you all right and uh, let's see if I can ask him. All right, let's see. Let's ask him if we could speak to him over here real quick. Let's see, MBA. Where was that MBA question? I just had it a second ago. All right, here we go. There's a million questions in here, man. There's a lot of questions. All right. Can I speak to you over there, man? All right. So let's see if he knows what's going on here. All right. Do you know the driver by any way, by any means necessary? Do you know the driver? Do you, and which vehicle were you driving? Okay. All right, well, we got an ambulance about to come out for her, so we'll go ahead and uh, double check her. All right, are you injured by any chance? You're not. Okay, you just found a vehicle like this and you pulled her out? Okay, just stay right here for me, okay, man? Let's see if we can get him to stay. All right, we'll keep him there. We'll, we'll have him stay there. Let's go ahead and get her the EMS. I'm trying to get her up. And we'll double check her on ambulance assistance required and talk to via mountain. All right, we've got EMS on scene now. We got to get this truck out of here though, but we need to see what it was hauling first. I don't know if I can be able to do that, but we could try. I don't think there was no one else in the truck. We'll search the truck real quick and see what she was hauling. A chainsaw and several pills in an unmarked bottle in the passenger side. So several pills. I'm gonna you know I'm gonna have to do a checkup on this. And see what kind of pills she had on her. So let me go back to my vehicle. We'll do a checkup on that real quick. All right, let me see. Narcotic field test. Several pills and unmarked. We'll see what she was drawing, what she was using before she, the vehicle tipped over. So we'll have her on. So it's not Molly. So we'll definitely have her for PCP or fentanyl. All right, LEFD is going to be taking her. It's positive for fentanyl, so she was definitely taking some pain pills. We're going to get this tow truck uh, called for this. All right, man. You're clear to go, buddy, okay? We're going to go ahead and get him up to the driver's, dismiss the pet to the driver's side. And then we'll get him sent away as well. Stay 
All right, tow truck's taking care of that. And we'll get this vehicle towed out as well. And I don't know what this one's doing here. Let's try to see if we can open the road back up. Whoa, 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 dude, whoa, dude. All right, we'll try to see if we can get this up and running again. All right, come on, everyone, slowly, 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 come on. Try to do a traffic break here if we can. Do a traffic break. All right, the scene is code four. Normally, this is supposed to be done ahead of the accident, but we'll let them go ahead on. But uh, that's a code four, guys. Let's go ahead and uh, get back to the station. All right, so let's pull in right into the station. Hell of a day, guys. I can't believe that that accident. <laughs> But like I said, we still got plenty of, we still got a lot of people, a lot of questions to go through. So since we were totally unprepared for it, because <laughs> I thought it was just going to be some simple CVE questions. I didn't know that the complete ultimate stop the ped was going to be, uh, you know, as much questions as I, as I seen it. So, you know, I didn't know that there were going to be a lot of questions involved in there. I didn't know there was going to be questions inside of questions inside of questions and so on. That was incredible. So, Sirius, thank you so much. You have given me a lesson to learn, and I've got a lot of work to do on it. So, this has been the a special episode of Veterans Day for LSPDFR, guys. So, an LSPDFR special Veterans Day episode. Taking the time, guys, to say thank you all for watching. And I want to let everyone know out there that, you know, we've got a lot. we got new vehicles coming next week. Uh, U.S. Park Services are coming next week guys so we've got a lot to work on with that uh gonna be doing the u.s park services uniforms as well we'll be adding them to the eup so we'll be checking those out if you guys are new to the channel i do recommend that you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe smash a like on this video leave some comments down below and oh we forgot about mike sin we don't ever go out of here without doing paperwork hold up hold up a minute i almost said goodbye without even finishing my court cases so let's finish up with Alex Street real quick. He's got a failure to yield. He's going to be paying $4.95, so only $5 off his ticket. Still going to make that payment. And Mike Sin, he's going to be doing five months in prison and granted probation. So hopefully he'll learn his lesson. His license will be suspended for a good couple years. But uh, yeah, guys, that is going to conclude the episode. Like I said, thank you all for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Take care.